Do you want to make a riser sound like this? Are you over? Let's do it. I'll walk you through how to make your very own vocal riser transition sound. First, go to your vocal track at the point where you want that riser to build into. Are you over? Then, at the beginning of that phrase, use your marquee tool to select just the first part of that word or that first syllable. Go ahead and copy that, and then we'll put this on a duplicate track. So I just duplicated my main vocal track, and then I pasted in that part of a syllable. I'm going to go ahead and fade each of those a little bit as well, the beginning and end. And at the end of my vocal chain on that duplicated track, I'm going to go ahead and add a reverb plugin and making sure that it outputs to stereo. On this reverb plugin, go ahead and set it to 100% wet and give it a decently long decay. I'm just going to set mine at uh, two and a half seconds here and setting that pre-delay to zero. Once I have that, just to hear what we have so far, we have just the first chopped off syllable with a reverb tail. Next, I'm going to bounce that audio, including the reverb, into its own audio region. To do that, I'll go ahead and bounce my region in place. I'll go ahead and put this on a new track and just name this Chop Reverb. I will not bypass effects. I will include audio tail in the file and include audio tail in the region. Great. So now I'm going to turn off that kind of builder track. And then this is going to be our box chop reverb. And we can see that reverb audio tail included. The next couple things we're going to do. First, I'm going to duplicate this track and name this reverse reverb. I'll take that audio file and just copy it to my new track. Next, to actually turn it into a riser, I'm going to go to the region area and click reverse. Then we'll go ahead and shorten this a little bit, drag it to the beginning. And next is going to be a little bit of alignment to make sure it lines up exactly where we want it. So I'm going to go ahead and mute the original tail here that we just created and now hear it in context with the vocals that we can line it up. Are you over? So right now it's cutting off a little too early, so I'm going to bump that over so that it's overlapping a little bit with my vocal and also just add a little fade out. Are you over? Even a little further. Give it a little more. Are you over? Great. So now... What I'm listening for there is just that it, the end of that build is right where it's leading into that first syllable. Are you so right now it's still a little bit jarring. And to fix that issue, we're going to add a couple other things. First, we'll add an EQ. And I like to tuck this back into the mix a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and high and low pass this. And then... We're also going to add another reverb here where we're going to soften that vocal riser a little bit using some of this reverb. Are you over? So I prefer my vocal risers tucked into the background a little bit using that EQ, but you can adjust your EQ or remove it if you want it to be more upfront. Are you over? The last thing to really get this to smooth out is that original reverb sound, let's go ahead and unmute that. And if you're really feeling crazy, you can even go ahead and just add the reverbs and EQs from our reverse reverb track to our original one. So now, if I solo both of these, Are you over? I can also just make sure that this lines up 
really well so that it's a smooth transition. So adding that, adding that little fade there, maybe I'll take a little, you just get edit that curve a little bit. When we listen back, it'll be a really smooth build into a really smooth fade out. And I have the same EQ and reverb settings on both of these reverb tracks. So lots of reverb in this case. Um, you can have it more jarring without the reverb like we saw. When we hear it in context with the vocal, that's where we get that really nice build going into our first syllable. Are you over? And then lastly, just adjust the volumes to your liking. You can adjust how long of that intro tail is as well if you don't want it to be quite so long and just add a fade in to smooth it out. Same thing for the tail of the reverb after the syllable hits. And then once you have that tweaked just the way you want it, you'll have your vocal riser that really just builds nicely into that first syllable of your vocal. Are you over? Great. Now you've got your very own vocal riser, custom made to fit perfectly with whatever vocal you're using right now. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Are you over? Are you, are you over? All the fun we had. Texting sober, really, really sober. Missing.